Hello everyone, I'm Chris Hernandez and this is the Weekly Report, a look at news from the city of Kansas City, Missouri. Kansas City's new streetcar line is generating economic development projects as promised. Developers broke ground for the 1914 main apartments. It's a project to build 44 units of market rate apartments on what is now a parking lot. The developers chose that site because it is on the streetcar line. It's once again great to know that this city is moving forward in a fast and progressive way but the best thing about it is is that we're working together to get it done and when everything is done and laid and the streetcar is running in 16 i think we're going to see a city that we hadn't quite imagined before all of the pain of construction will be forgotten all of the joy of new people moving around filling up restaurants going to the stores, doing those things that people do in neighborhoods, and this is a real neighborhood now, will be very obvious. So thank you for coming in and placing some faith in Kansas City and spending some money here. Thank you for working on the project, everybody at EDC and, and LCRA and all of the agencies and all of the people who, make, who are making this project happen. Councilman John Sharp was recently awarded the Evelyn Wasserstrom Award from the Jewish Community Relations Bureau, American Jewish Committee, and the Southern Christian Leadership Conference. This award is given for commitment to causes of freedom and justice for oppressed people in the metropolitan area. Sharp is vice president of the Multiracial Family Circle and a board member of the Midwest Center for Holocaust Education, among other organizations. Now let's check in with some of our city's departments. Hi, I'm Janet O'Hagan with the Kansas City Convention and Entertainment Facilities. It's cold outside, but there is a lot of opportunity to come inside, warm up, and enjoy some slam dunk all-star entertainment. Don't miss the Best of the Midwest Showcase at Municipal Auditorium on January 31st. At this primetime high school basketball event, some of the biggest names in Kansas City, St. Louis, Iowa, and Missouri will compete. For ticket information and schedule of games, go to bestofthemidwestshowcase.com. For an exciting college basketball experience, come out and cheer on the UMKC Roos at Municipal Auditorium, February 5th, 7th, and 26th. For ticket information and game times, go to umkckangaroos.com. It's not too early to make your Valentine plans, and this year, the Valentine's Music Festival comes to Municipal Auditorium on February 13th. This romantic evening, hosted by Doug E. Fresh, will feature entertainers like Guy, Bobby Brown, Casey and JoJo, and Elle DeBarge. Hurry and get your tickets through Ticketmaster.com or at the Municipal Box Office. Also, the nine times Tony Award winning musical from the creators of South Park, The Book of Mormon, comes to the Music Hall February 24th through March 8th. The New York Times calls it the best musical of the century. Washington Post says it is the kind of evening that restores your faith in musicals. And Entertainment Weekly says, Grade A, the funniest musical of all time. Again, buy your tickets at Ticketmaster.com or at the Municipal Auditorium box office. These are just a few of the many events that the Kansas City Convention and Entertainment Facilities offer our community. To learn about even more events, visit kcconvention.com and click on the events calendar or call 816-513-5000. Bright is fireplace, clothes in every case. 
Hi, I'm Rick Usher, Assistant City Manager for Small Business and Entrepreneurship in the City of Kansas City, Missouri. Today we're at the Block School of Business for the Gigabit City Summit. KC Digital Drive, an organization leading the digital effort in the metro area, is hosting the event for cities from across the country. We have representatives from Portland to Florida to Vermont to uh, New Mexico and um, Arizona. So there are uh, lots of attendees in town today showing us how they're planning on using gigabit internet services in their community and then we're demonstrating how we um, assisted Google Fiber in the rollout and deployment of the project in Kansas City and we're looking at best practices for construction. Uh, there's an education tract under, underway um, upstairs bringing together uh, schools and libraries from across the country. There are a lot of folks from around the country in Kansas City today to see how we are implementing and using our gigabit network. When an emergency occurs, the Kansas City Fire Department is there to assist. No one expects an emergency, but there are a few things we should know ahead of time, just in case. Chief Harris, how do I know when to call 911? Well, you should call 911 anytime you have a medical emergency or there is threat to property, such as any fire-related emergencies. Of course, if you have questions on whether or not it is an emergency, always err on the set of caution and call 911. If I think I need to call 911, what should I do? Well, first off, don't panic. Find a phone and call 911. It may take a few seconds to get connected, but they will answer the phone. Just, again, don't hang up and don't panic. Well, then third, know what you will be asked. First, it's the where. Where is the emergency? Always be aware of your surroundings and where you are. Try to keep watch out for road signs, business names, intersections, whenever you may travel. Give the dispatcher the address and be sure to know the phone number you are calling from. The dispatcher may need to call you back for more information. Then next, the why. Tell us exactly what happened and why. We're gonna then ask you a set of questions about the patient and that will give us a better understanding on what's going on and why. What else might happen? Next after that, we'll give you a set of instructions to better help the patient. This can be anything from bleeding control, how to deliver a baby, CPR, choking instructions, or just the simple instructions on reassuring the patient that help is on the way. Don't give them anything to eat or drink. Unlock the door for us. Put away any family pets. Um, gather a list of their medicines. And that helps us assist the patient. Remember also to not hang up until the dispatcher tells you to. For more information about the Kansas City Fire Department, visit our website at kcmo.gov and search for KC Fire. For additional videos, visit our website at kcmo.gov and search for FYI KC. You probably have some holiday lights that have burned out and you can recycle them rather than just tossing them into the trash. Used lighting can be dropped off at the city's three recycling centers located at 400 Northwest Berry Road, 4707 Doremus Avenue, and 9051 Hillcrest Road until February 15th. The centers are open Wednesday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. In observance of the Martin Luther King Jr. holiday, city offices and the 311 call center will be closed on Monday, January 19th. Also, curbside trash and recycling collection will be delayed one day throughout the week. For more information about these stories, please log on to kcmo.gov and search for the Weekly Report. That does it for this edition of the Weekly Report. I'm Chris Hernandez. Have a great week.